In an important milestone in Hyderabad's aerospace and defense manufacturer's ecosystem, the private sector firm VEM Technologies has manufactured the center fuselage of the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft, and has handed it over to Hindustan Aeronautics earlier today. The center fuselage has been assembled with 1,595 mechanical and composite parts, and this is the first time a complete complex center fuselage section for a supersonic fighter aircraft has been built by a private company in India. The DRDO chief Dr. Satish Reddy has said that the core technologies required for the 5.5 generation AMCA fighter jets is currently being developed by scientists, and that the AMCA program is on track for its first flight in 2025. He also added that the DRDO is looking for an international tie up with foreign manufacturers for the joint development of a higher class next generation engine that will power the AMCA stealth fighter. The DRDO chairman Dr. Satish Reddy has said that the developmental test of the 1,000 km range near Bay cruise missile fitted with an indigenous small turbofan engine will be tested in the coming days. The near Bay equipped with a Russian engine is already deployed in limited numbers, but India is upgrading the missile system with an indigenous engine and a new radio frequency seeker. The Air Force variant of the long-range land attack cruise missile is currently under development and the Indian Navy and the RDO have also agreed to work on development of the LRLACM that will have a longer range than the Army and Air Force variant, and will be equipped on frontline naval warships and six nuclear attack submarines and six upcoming conventional submarines under Project 75I. In a very significant development, the DRDO has moved into a single integrated trial system of the next generation weapons program, under which all the stakeholders will be part of the trials from the beginning of each new program, that includes the officials from the certification agency, the Indian Armed Forces, and the developmental team, that will reduce stages of development cycle, and will also shorten the induction and production time of the new weapon system. The DRDO has already started this process in the Akash Next Generation Missile System and Quick Reaction Surface-to-Air Missile, and the same approach will be taken in the Astra Mark II Missile. The QRSAM is already cleared for production, and the Akash NG Missile System that started trials earlier this year, has already been tested in full operational configuration and has also hit a high-speed aerial target and it will be cleared for production after two more tests in early 2022. The DRDO chief Dr. Sati Shreddy has inspected the ongoing construction work of the missile testing range in Krishna district of Andhra Pradesh. The work on the new missile testing range had started in 2020, and is being built at a cost of 1000 crore rupees, making it the second missile test range after Balasore. The project is being executed at 154.4 hectare site, and it will comprise a technical facility, a few launch pads, a control center and state-of-the-art communication systems, and both short- and long-range missiles could be tested from this facility. The development trials of the 75 km range-guided Pinnaker rocket system has been completed, and it will soon enter user trials with the Indian Army. The DRDO chief has confirmed that a number of countries have sought inquiries on the guided pinnacle, and as multiple industries including private sector firm Godridge and Boyce are already involved in the production, these multiple production lines can easily cater to any export order. A Chinese military analyst has said that India will be keen to buy the newly unveiled Russian stealth fighter jet to counter the Chinese Air Force. He also said that its aerodynamic design suggests it has better stealth capabilities than the Su-57, which was rejected by the Indian Air Force in 2018. Another Chinese military commentator has said that the sales of stealth fighters are still largely based on the political divide, and the most likely buyer of the Su-75 is India, which is a major buyer of Russian-origin aircraft.
Oh, Mark, dropped it.